Hello! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first episode of the Maplewood Legacy. So today I'm going to be beginning a brand new let's play. This let's play is going to be very cosy, very relaxed and that's the kind of atmosphere I want to go through whilst carrying out this series. It is of course also going to be very family based too since that's my favourite type of gameplay to play. I'm really looking forward to this so let's go ahead and jump straight in and I will introduce you to our sim we are going to be beginning this series with. Here is our sim we are going to be beginning this series with and this is Amaya Maplewood and I have called this series the Maplewood Legacy because I'm just going to be trying to get through as many generations as possible I guess. I'm not going to try and push myself to get to 10 or anything like that since I feel like that's where most people try and aim to when doing legacies but I'm just going to be playing the game game in a very chill manner and I'm just going to be going through generations, telling stories, there's going to be different characters and I just want it to be a very relaxed atmosphere. But of course we need a sim to start off with so this is our sim here. Obviously this is part one so there is going to be a lot of introductions in this episode. So I am going to quickly jump into creator sim and I will show you Amaya and her outfit. I will tell you a little bit of her backstory. So let let me quickly jump into creator sim and I can properly introduce you to Amaya. So here we have Amaya Maplewood. I really hope that you like her. She is currently in one of her comfy outfits. She doesn't usually wear glasses but she's just wearing them right now because she is in her comfy clothes. So I will quickly show you Amaya's outfit and I will also introduce you to her a little bit too. So first off Amaya's style is very basic. She likes to dress in a lot of neutral colours as you can see and that definitely reflects in her home as well. I've kept all the colours very neutral but Amaya is originally from Mount Kamarami and she has just recently moved to Evergreen Harbour to begin her career in teaching. It's something that she's always wanted to do as a child and she just couldn't find the job opportunities where she used to live from her home country so she wanted to kind of expand her horizons and look for work elsewhere and she's currently living in Evergreen Harbour since that is currently the place where she could find a great teaching job. There's a lot of good schools around in Evergreen Harbour so that is why she's currently living there. She's not a full teacher yet, she is still in training but she's getting there, she's going to grow and flourish as a person and hopefully have a successful career. For her traits and aspiration I did give her quite the Stocko standard legacy aspiration and traits I guess you could say, family aspiration and traits, since that is kind of also the main goal for this challenge, very relaxed and family based. So even though one of her aspirations is obviously to become very successful in the teaching field, her other aspiration and goal in life is to have a big happy family. Growing up unfortunately Amaya didn't really have that for herself, so it is something that she wanted to carry out into our adulthood and provide that for her own big happy family one day. I didn't currently give her any likes and dislikes, I want that to be something that we discover throughout this series, so she will pick up hobbies and her interests along the way. But I did give Amaya the creative trait, she is quite naturally gifted with creativity, so I definitely think she's going to get into a lot of creative hobbies, maybe some cosy ones like knitting, but I can also see her being very interested in doing digital art, so I think that will be something I will get her to do in the near future. I also did give her the loyal trait. Relationships are very important to her. I also wanted to use this trait since it is very new to the game. So I wanted to give it a go and see how it affects our sims I guess. And last but not least of course I had to give her the family oriented trait since this is once again very family based and family is very important to Amaya. And I had to include a pet in this let's play too. So we do have her dog Theo Maplewood and he is a pit bull and I just thought Theo would fit perfectly with this let's play and he just looks like such a friendly cozy looking dog but Theo is a loyal dog. Theo is always by Amaya's side. Also very friendly and a very smart dog too and Theo does have two different coloured eyes which is so cute. He has a green eye and a brown eye. I think Theo is going to make a great addition to this let's play for sure. But now that I've introduced you to 
Amaya and her dog Theo. Let's go ahead and jump straight into game. I can quickly show you her house and then we can begin playing. So welcome to Amaya's home. This is where Amaya is currently living. It's a very sweet starter home. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. It's very neutral inside, I will warn you. <laughs> but I think it turned out pretty cute. And also welcome to Evergreen Harbour since this is the world that we are going to be playing this Let's Play in. I can't guarantee that we will stay here forever. I mean, we most likely won't because I probably will move around throughout this Let's Play to different worlds. But I have never actually played in Evergreen Harbour properly before. So I thought this Let's Play would be the perfect opportunity. And since I'm starting this Let's Play in full, I just thought this world fit really well with the vibe I was trying to put across. I am gonna pause the game so we don't lose gameplay time, but I'm gonna quickly show you around Amaya's home. It's quite a small home, it does only have one bedroom, but it is a very cute home nevertheless. Amaya has just moved here, so realistically I can imagine she wouldn't be able to do the house up as much as I've done it up, but for aesthetic purposes, the house is very well done and completely furnished. But as you can see, the colours are very neutral. There's lots of white and beiges, light wood tones and white, and that kind of goes across all throughout the house. Also looks like Theo is hungry. <laughs> He's standing next to his food bowl, so we're gonna have to get Amaya to feed him in a second. I thought the colour theme fit well with Amaya's dress style too, since she definitely dresses in these type of colours. So I just showed you the living room and this is the kitchen. And then in here we have the bathroom. This is just a downstairs bathroom with a toilet and a sink and then there's also the laundry in this little cubby hole as well. We also have such a cute small back garden. I really like the size of the back garden. There's just a seating area over here and also there's some planter boxes and also the washing line here too. I'm not sure if we are going to do gardening. I just put them there for now but maybe it's something that Amaya can get into potentially. And then if we go on back inside and we head upstairs. Up here we just have a landing area and I forgot to change the colour of the railing so I'm gonna have to do that in a second. <laughs> but we just have this landing area which has a closet and just some storage bits and bobs and then in here is Amaya's bedroom and also she has her desk in here too just with a laptop on because of course she is getting into teaching so she's gonna need a desk to kind of do all of her teaching stuff. And then in here is the bathroom and this is a full size bathroom with a shower and everything too. So I still tried to make it look very starter home esque but I did want to fully furnish it because I just think it looks nicer like that. It's definitely a nicer starting point but that definitely means we're gonna have to work hard because I can imagine our bills are not gonna be cheap. <laughs> it is nearly 5 p.m though. It is a Wednesday currently right now and Amaya does have her first day at her new job tomorrow which is very exciting. She's currently a private tutor but I can imagine she's just doing some tutoring but she's also training she's probably still training to be a teacher so that's currently what she's doing but she is getting paid for that but she currently doesn't have any relationships she doesn't have anything like that because of course she's just moved here she doesn't know anybody at all so I'm hoping tomorrow when she has her first day at work she will be able to meet some co-workers and one last thing that I want to mention before we do begin with the gameplay episode one is always very slow with the introductions but talking about co-workers and friends if you do have any sims that you would like to see in this let's play if that is a friend for Amaya or a love interest or even you can create some families that I can put into this let's play I would love to see them uploaded onto the gallery so then I can include them into the let's play and play with them too and incorporate them into the let's play as well so if you would like to upload any sims to add into this let's play you can go ahead and put them under the hashtag Wispella Maplewood any pack is allowed and I will allow CC but just a limited amount since I don't want the sims to be added in bald or half naked or something like that. <laughs> but I do have quite a wide selection of custom content in my game especially skin details and eyelashes and things like that. So I will allow CC but just don't do too much CC. So all packs are allowed on all your sims and limited CC would be great and I can check the hashtag and I can add them into the game. And Theo is barking at Amaya because because he wants a feeding. He's like, it's my dinner time. Please, can I have some food? So we will go ahead and come into the kitchen and we will fill and call Theo to eat, although he's already at his bowl. He's ready to go. 
<laughs> Whilst Theo enjoys his dinner, we need to get Amaya to start cooking hers. Amaya's gonna go ahead and make something super quick tonight because she does need to do some teacher work before she heads to sleep this evening and it is nearly around 7pm. So she's gonna quickly heat up some mac and cheese and eat that up and then she does need to do some researching of some teaching methods before it's time to head to work tomorrow. Because as I said, Amaya is still currently training to be a teacher so she wants to get all the knowledge in that she can. Before going tomorrow I can imagine she's a little bit nervous but I think she's gonna do great because she's been working up to this part of her life for a very long time now. So I'm gonna get Amaya to quickly use the bathroom and then we will head upstairs to our laptop and we will come and sit down and we need to go ahead and research some teacher training or teacher methods or something like that. <laughs> so I think it will be under career education career and we need to research teaching methods so hopefully this won't take too long and then we can get ready for bed and stuff like that we want to try and get an early night before we do have to go to work tomorrow however i hope you all are looking forward to this let's play i know i am obviously i am also currently doing the sims in bloom legacy i'm gonna still be doing that alongside this series so don't worry that won't be going anywhere but i'm looking forward to having a series that doesn't tie me to any rules because of course with the sims in bloom legacy there's rules behind it you have to complete rules for each gen to carry on completing the challenge so i'm looking forward to having one that kind of doesn't tie me to any rules and i can kind of make it up as i go along and i would love to hear your guys input throughout this series too so if you do ever have any ideas for the characters or something like that i would love to hear because i always love hearing your input and feedback on series and let's play too amaya's finished doing some training and it also looks like theo is waking up too so he was looking a bit sad i'm not sure if he's awake or if he's currently okay he is awake <laughs> let's ask him what's wrong he's not looking too happy i think he's a little bit sad that amaya wasn't giving him any attention look he wants to play with his ball but it is nearly 10 p.m now so we can play with him tomorrow when we return home from work but he looks like he needs some attention so let's give him a hug and also we give him a little pet as well amaya's probably like good boy theo you're being so good <laughs> i also actually really like amaya in these glasses i think i may give them to her in one of her other outfits too they're really growing on me however it is nearly 11 p.m so i'm gonna get amaya to take a brisk shower and get ready for bed and she's gonna hop in bed and hopefully have a nice relaxed sleep Good morning everyone. It is a very cold start to the morning this morning. It's time for Amaya to get up for her first day working at her brand new job at the brand new school. She's woke up very happy. She's feeling very refreshed and ready to go. We will let Theo out to go to the bathroom so let's go ahead and we will ask him to go potty. The sun is now shining in on the kitchen so we will go ahead and cook ourselves some breakfast. I think I may actually get Amaya to make something out of the granny's cookbook. Let's make something nice and easy. I think we should make some honey and banana toast. That sounds quite nice and should fill us up until it's time for lunchtime at work. Also, she just got the likes cooking. So as I said, I wanted for Amaya to choose her own likes and dislikes. And it looks like she likes cooking. So of course, we have an hour till work and I am gonna get Amaya to go to work. We're probably not gonna work from home a lot of days but sometimes we can but majority of the time I'm just gonna get her to go to work. It's nearly time to head to work but before Amaya heads off of course she needs to feed Theo so we're gonna quickly do that and then I think it will be time to head to work and off Amaya goes to work. That outfit is not a look I will admit I'm gonna definitely have to change that. Theo's gonna hang out at home by himself for now and we will catch up with Theo and Amaya once Amaya comes home from work. Amaya has just 
returned home from work. She's looking pretty happy, which is great. Seems like she had a great first day. Let's get her to come in and greet Theo, who is currently asleep. But we will go ahead and wake him up because I think he's going to be delighted to hear that it's time to go on a walk. So we will go ahead and give him a kiss and say hello. And then let's go ahead and say, hey, Theo, do you want to go, go on a walk? And I think he's going to be very happy to hear that. So let's head on a walk with Amaya and Theo. And I also want to show you that Amaya actually did meet some people whilst at work. And her co-workers, they all look pretty friendly and nice actually. So she managed to meet Damien, Amelia, Naomi and Ethan. And I definitely want her to get to know these people because they all look really friendly. I want her to have a good relationship with all her co-workers. So I definitely want to get to know these people for sure. Amaya and Theo look so happy though. I think Amaya is going to adjust to her new life very well. I think Evergreen Harbour is so cool too. Some places are a little bit run down still. The town is still under construction a lot but the place is looking very nice. I love all the plants everywhere and stuff like that. It just looks like a very family suburban place and I like it a lot. I think it's going to be a fun world to play in. I think we should start heading back home though because it is getting pretty late so we will go home now. We have been walking Theo for about an hour now I'd say so it's been quite a long walk. We have arrived home now though. It looks like Theo's still got some food left over so let's go ahead and prepare some dinner. Maybe we should make some soup tonight. That could be quite nice to have and we can keep that in the fridge as well. The soup is finished. It looks so so yummy. So let's go ahead and we'll grab a serving and then we can put the rest away at some point. It's even in a little basket. That's really cute. Amaya has finished her meal now so we go ahead and put that away and before Amaya does head upstairs I'm going to also add some washing to the washing machine. I had to remove the wall because it was saying there was no available washing machine otherwise. We get some washing on and keep on top of that and then I will get Amaya to quickly take a shower and of course she's got into her pajamas as well. It is getting pretty late but before we head to bed we do need to quickly just do some teacher training. It shouldn't take too long and then Amaya can get herself to sleep. However that is where I'm going to be ending part one. I hope that you did enjoy. Tomorrow Amaya is just going to be heading to work once again so I didn't really want to play another day since it will just be basically the same as what today was but I really hope that you enjoyed the first episode of this new series. I know I did. I'm really really looking forward to the rest of the series and seeing where Amaya goes and where life takes her. I'm going to be playing a couple of days off camera just getting her to head to work and I also want her to get her relationship up with her co-workers a bit more too because I definitely think a couple of them could be part of our story for sure. And just a reminder if you would like to see any of your sims in this let's play you can add your sims under the hashtag Wispella Maplewood. I can check on the gallery and download them and place them into my game and they could potentially become part of the story and part of Amaya's life too. But other than that let me know what you think of the series so far. I would love to hear your suggestions and your feedback and how are you liking our characters so far? Do you like Amaya and Theo? Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!